So the gift that I received from that experience was, um, again, seeing how I was being with my dad in relationship and, and seeing that I was, um, again, using him as a target in my life, blame, judgment, and um, basically not taking responsibility for my life. So in essence, in that experience, I was reclaiming my power, um, and uh, I guess claiming responsibility, ability to respond to my life versus react out of this old story that I had about, you know, my parents were to blame for everything. And um, so, you know, I did all this work. It was really, you know, really kind of just uncovered all these things. And then they basically said, okay, do you really want to heal this? relationship? Do you really want to claim the power back in your life? What there is to do at the next break is go call this person that you've been doing this work around. And it was like, oh gosh, that means I have to go call my dad <laughs> and, and talk to him about this. And so I did. Um, at the break, I, they had these phones and I went and picked up a phone and I called my dad. And I kind of had, I was nervous. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say, so I had some things written about what to say. And I called up my dad. And the, what I said was, Dad, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. I've been holding you as a jerk all these years. And really, I've been the jerk. I was a jerk. I've been blaming you. I've been judging you. I've been using you as a target for why my life hasn't been working. I'm so sorry. And in that moment, um, my heart burst open wide. And, um, and I just started crying deeply, just touched some deep grief. And I could hear on the other side of the phone, my dad's heart was touched too and his heart opened and he started crying with me. And it was the first time I had heard or experienced my dad crying in such a way. And I feel that our hearts connected deeply in that moment. Um, and then I did something that I had never done before. I acknowledged my dad. I started thanking him for all the ways that he was there for me in my life. And all the ways that he did support me. It's kind of the flip side of all the judgments I had. Um, so I was thanking him for just all the little things, things that he might have known or didn't know. And, and I was ultimately like, and Dad, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You know, you created me. I came from you from your love with mom. And it was just really profound for me to have that. And I got my dad back in such a powerful way in that moment. That was so significant for me to have that healing with my dad in that moment. Um, because what happened from there was um, I had, um, I had pretty much two years of very deep connection with my dad before he was killed. And in those two years, I had a relationship with him that I couldn't have imagined, um, shared with him in ways that I never could have dreamed, shared at levels of depth I never could have imagined. Um, and had him share with me about himself, his life, and things in ways that he saw me and thought about me that I was like, really? You see this about me? I, I just, it was so, so touching. And to be able to understand him in ways that I don't think, I, I don't know because I don't know how his relationship was with my other family members, but I get the sense that he confided in me in certain ways that he didn't share with a lot of other people, that we just had such a deep bond. Um, 
part of what has emerged from, from the experience of having my dad killed on September 11th, I, I consider to be very spiritual. I was touched. There are so many strands that came together for me through the experience of September 11th, the killing of my father. I say that now and just sharing about that healing I did with him because about a year in 2002 after I was kind of piecing my life back together and going through some old papers, I came across that piece of paper that I had that phone call with them, that I did that work with them, that I had that healing with them, and it was dated September 11th, 1999. And when I saw that, I realized that that experience was, it wasn't a coincidence. I was meant to notice that. And meant to see the, how all those threads tied together in a way that allowed me to receive something, receive a wisdom, a knowing, a gift for my life, maybe a message to share with other people. I think this is why I, I'm sitting in front of cameras today and sharing my story, is because I felt so deeply touched on a spiritual level, on a soul level, on a core level of my life. Again, from those experiences of that healing with my dad, how I was affected from September 11th, the ways in which I feel like I was impacted and then maybe brought to the world to share my story, share about my dad, share about things like the relationship we had, the healing that we had. Um, this is really extraordinary to me how I really see September 11th as this point, this intersection. I, I believe my perspective is how I see it, my reality is that it's an intersection of um, it's an intersection that reaches many levels. It's, a, it's, it's like, you know, if you use the metaphor of the web of life, it's like this point of the web where all the strands meet on personal levels, on family levels, on community levels, on societal levels, on a global level. All these points intersect. When I look at the ways that it rippled both through people's personal lives, through their communities, around the globe, in families, in, ah, wow, on all those levels. Um, yeah, it, it feels like a point of ripple. And when I look at points like that, I see them as opportunities to, to look, to pay attention, to reflect.